Like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Almost 65 million years ago, mammals were still living in secrecy. They were trying to stay hidden from the giant reptiles that ruled the earth before them. Dinosaurs ruled the planet for around 150 million years, but like every good party, good things must come to an end. So just like that, the reign of the dinosaurs was about to come to an end with a natural disaster. Scientists believe that dinosaurs were wiped out from the surface of the Earth by a gigantically enormous asteroid that came from space. And the extinction of dinosaurs was caused by this impact. It's still very unclear as some scientists believe that a really cold day caused the dinosaurs to freeze to death. Whatever the reason, dinosaurs were wiped out, and after that, life on planet Earth changed. As we already know, other animals are as old as dinosaurs, but they were mostly in hiding because of fear of getting killed. So, let's look at 10 things that happened after the extinction of dinosaurs. But before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Number 10. Argentavis What is for sure is that dinosaurs were wiped from the surface of the Earth, but mammals survived. How they survived is not the question, but how they lived after the dinosaurs is what's really interesting. It's assumed that no mammal or other species expected the extinction of the dinosaurs, so even after they were wiped out, some mammals stayed in hidden places. And some roamed around because the world was for the taking. Argentavis is also known as the Argentine bird. It's one of the largest flying birds ever known. With a wingspan of 7 meters and a mass of approximately 159 pounds, it would have been able to carry off small, primitive horses. In 2014, another extinct species, Pelagornis sandersi, was described as having a similar size, although only weighing 22 to 40 kilograms. For comparison, the living bird with the largest wingspan is the wandering albatross. Argentavis roamed the skies of the Earth some 9 million years ago. Number 9. Basilosaurus Basilosaurus, commonly known as King Lizard, is not a lizard or a dinosaur. It is in fact a type of ancient whale that lived 40 to 34 million years ago. Its fossils have been found in the United States, Egypt, Jordan, and Pakistan. This beast would have terrorized the seas worldwide. It did, however, have two vestigial feet, the use of which is unknown. Measuring between 12 and 20 meters, Basilosaurus is the largest known ocean animal of the late Eocene. Basilosaurus is a genus of a large predatory whale from the late Eocene, approximately 41.3 to 33.9 million years ago. First described in 1834, it was the first archaeocete and prehistoric whale known to science. They were originally thought to be a giant reptile, hence the nickname the giant lizard. The animal was later found to be an early marine mammal. Number 8. Purasaurus Every era seems to have its form of giant crocodile. After the dinosaurs, arguably bigger, more specialized crocodiles came into the spotlight. Purasaurus is a contender for the biggest crocodiliform to have ever lived. Living in South America alongside the giant bird Argentavis, this 13-meter-long monster alligator terrorized the continent only 8 million years ago. It was nicknamed Purus Lizard after the river Purus. Three other extinct crocodiliforms, Sarcosuchus, Dinosuchus, and Ramaphosuchus had similar body sizes. Sarcosuchus and Dinosuchus had similar proportions, but both were geologically much older, dating back more than 50 million years. One study also indicates that Purosaurus may have been heavier than either Sarcosuchus or Dinosuchus, as it had a much broader, shorter snout, and this would require a thicker, stronger neck to support the larger head. Number 7. Parasetherium Parasetherium is an extinct genus of hornless rhinoceros. It's the largest terrestrial mammal that has ever existed, at nearly 5 meters tall and weighing an estimated 20 tons. It lived 34 to 23 million years ago. Its remains have been found across Eurasia between China and the former Yugoslavia. Parasitherium means near the hornless beast. The first fossils, now recognized as Parasitherium, were discovered by the British geologist Guy Alcock Pilgrim in Balakistan in 1907 and 1908. His material consisted of an upper jaw, lower teeth, and the back of a jaw. In 1910, more partial fossils were discovered in Dara Bukti during an expedition by the British paleontologist Clive Forster Cooper. 
There are no indications of the color and skin texture of the animal because no skin impressions or mummies are known. Most life restorations show the creature's skin as thick, folded, gray, and hairless based on modern rhinoceroses. Because hair retains body heat, modern large mammals such as elephants and rhinoceroses are largely hairless. Number 6. Deodon One of the most vicious animals after the extinction of dinosaurs, Deodon is known as the Dreadful Tooth. It's an extinct genus of hell pigs that inhabited North America between 29 and 19 million years ago. Deodon's skull alone measured almost a meter in length, it was 1.8 meters tall, and once roamed North America eating just about anything it could find. This could be why it was known as the Terminator Pig. Travelers would have typically found Deodon traveling in packs devouring anything and everything that got within sight. Once combat is initiated, one or sometimes all of the pack would produce a pheromone effect to buff the health regeneration of friendly creatures. Deodon was a large mammal with hunched shoulders and cloven hooves. It had a massive head and long jaws with fearsome tusk-like front teeth for tearing both meat and plant matter and rows of molars at the back for grinding. With its massive size and nightmarish teeth, it's easy to forget this animal is a part of the pig family. Number 5. Megalania Megalania, or the Great Roamer, is an extinct, very large goanna or monitor lizard. Although it did not get as large as the mosasaur predecessors, this giant monitor lizard was just as vicious. Once living in Australia, this giant 7-meter-long lizard went extinct recently, about 30,000 years ago. Australia's earliest settlers may have encountered Megalania in the wild, maybe even feeding on it. The Megalania was a huge lizard resembling the Komodo dragon. It had a low-lying build with a powerful tail and toothy jaw drooling with venom. Despite its size, it was capable of climbing walls like a gecko or sneak up on prey and traverse difficult terrain, a useful adaptation for a massive cave dweller like itself. Number 4. Titanoboa Titanoboa means titanic boa. It's an extinct genus of snake that lived approximately 60 to 58 million years ago. Scientists estimate it had a total length of around 12.8 meters and weighed about 1135 pounds, which is a lot for a snake. Just for comparison, the anaconda's weight is 550 pounds. It was longer than Tyrannosaurus rex with an appetite to match. The behavior of Titanoboa is very simple, very aggressive and relentless. The Titanoboa would pursue and attack most creatures, which includes players who dare to approach one. Caves would have offered a safe location for Titanoboas to mingle with other creatures. They've also been found in swamps where they would attack whatever they could sink their fangs into. Their bulk stopped them from the attention of most predators, but if threatened, the giant snake would flare a thrill about its neck and strike out, biting with several rows of recurved needle-like teeth. It's a snake of immense size, leaving behind even the largest anacondas. Thick and bulky, it must have been found in sizable numbers in the island swamps, ambushing prey from the shallows and crushing it between its coils. All in all, this is the most vicious snake we've ever seen. Number 3. Megalodon Sharks are badass. We know that much. They've been on this earth for more than 400 million years and have survived every mass extinction nature's ever thrown at them. Megalodon, or the large-toothed shark, was one of the most influential predators the Earth has ever produced, and one of the largest at 18 meters. Megalodon was an active predator of large whales, but then again, there's always a bigger fish. Megalodons, which sound like a megalord for some reason, would stay in the deeper waters and less attacking prey. But even then, they rarely entered shallow areas. They were aggressive and would swim faster than most creatures. Resembling nothing less than a slightly oversized great white shark, Megalodon was the most common of the large and dangerous predators in the ocean. The ones appear to be based on the largest great white sharks to exist in real life, such as Deep Blue. To catch one, the predators of that time must have needed some strategy. It's not recommended to full-on engage a Megalodon in the water, but rather attack it from an advantageous position, such as a raft rock, the shore, or perhaps even a platform above or partially in the water. And with that, it's time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. 
This seems like a photoshopped picture of the bones of dinosaurs remaining after a natural disaster wiped them from the face of the earth. We get from where the editor of this picture got the idea. It's believed that a gigantic asteroid from space made its way toward Earth, and when it hit the surface, the impact was so huge that it shook the whole Earth, and the impact resulted in all the dinosaurs going extinct. The Earth after that incident must have taken millions of years to return to normal. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Liviatin melvilli Liviatin melvilli is an extinct species of whale which lived approximately 12 to 13 million years ago. To tell you guys the power of the Liviatin, they ate Megalodon. Its teeth were over a foot long. It was a whale that ate other whales. It was named after a biblical monster that God had to destroy to keep from reproducing. Leviathan was at the very top of the food chain and it must have needed a lot of food. Leviathan measured to be more than 15 meters from head to tail and weighed as much as 50 tons, about the same size as a modern sperm whale. While modern sperm whales mainly eat squid, scientists think Leviathan used its fearsome teeth to kill its kind the giant baleen whales. That's our list of 10 things that happened and the animals that came after the extinction of dinosaurs. Which was the most interesting animal to you? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.